terrible. Although I do think that a messy desk is probably peak Ravenclaw, don't you think? This is my first time using like nail stick, nail polish stickers, um, and I combined it with gel top coat. So we'll see how it goes. It has to beat one week because one week is what I managed to get from my regular nail polish with gel nail polish. I'm sure you're really interested. This is an art vlog. <laughs> it's Saturday and I've been having like kind of like an up and down time for the last few weeks. I haven't vlogged much, uh, partly because I didn't feel like it and partly because I was just really busy with Patreon and just doing stuff. And so today, obviously it's a day off um, and I was feeling kind of not bad and not great, just kind of like average. And I was thinking, okay, it's a good time to vlog. Uh, but also really because I'm one of those people who, when I'm in a bad mood, like I don't mean like when I'm depressed, like when, I de when I'm depressed I don't do anything, but like when I'm kind of like, yeah, mm, that kind of mood, <laughs> you know, I tend to, like my coping mechanism is to do stuff because doing stuff makes me feel like I am a good person. So on the one hand, I think that's great because, you know, coping mechanisms are good usually like as long as they're like healthy coping mechanisms I think you know yay but I also want to be aware of using a coping mechanism to escape my feelings so I don't want to just kind of like do 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 um, to uh, escape my feelings so that's kind of something I'm keeping in mind today I have no plans. I was going to do something in the slow cooker. I have a slow cooker which I have had in the loft forever and I was inspired to take it out again and to use it but now I just literally can't be bothered. <laughs> so, But at least I was bothered to do my nails um, so that's exciting and then I'll just see what else I'm doing. So let me think what am I actually working on. This morning I was working on trying to find a WordPress plugin that will allow me to have a secret part of my shop so that I can have kind of like a secret Patreon shop so that my Patreon <laughs> words so that my patrons can get leftover stickers from the previous months however you can't get a plugin like that without paying for it which is it's okay but it's like yeah it just frustrates me because right now I don't I'm not in a position to start doing that because I don't, I mean, Andrew was saying like, oh, just pay it, like, just do it. And I'm like, no, because I haven't like had it, I, I don't yet know if I need it. Anyway, so that's something I was doing. Oh yeah, I haven't, one of the reasons I haven't vlogged as well is because I've been working on this how to vlog video. And I've got, mo I've got like the main timeline down. Uh, but I want to fill it in with lots of exciting kind of footage that shows you rather than just telling you like this is how you should vlog um, because that would be a bit boring if I'm just sitting in front of the camera and talking like I am now. <laughs> I hope you don't find it boring. But yeah, in terms of an instructional video, I want to show and not just tell. And it's just been loads and loads of work. I would say I'm probably about a quarter of the way towards finished maybe a little bit more but I just have a lot of work to do in terms of like filming additional footage to drop into the video and also finding footage from like old vlogs and stuff that will illustrate the things that I'm talking about so that has been like one of those big projects that I'm on the one hand excited about because I really believe in this video that I'm making and then on the other hand sometimes I'm like oh my god why did I take on such a big project which is why vlogging is nice because vlogging is so much more instant gratification <laughs> Um, right, uh, okay, I'm gonna just switch off the camera and see what I want to do with my life. Is that 
bunch of beer. Yeah. All right, you take this one then. <laughs> you take this one. Steal my, steal my wine. slightly embarrassed because Sue you sent me a really nice postcard and I don't know where I put it and I really wanted to show it and I just I don't remember it. Um, if I find it I will show it but right now I cannot. Um, I also got mail from this was very I get very excited about stamps I got mail from um, New Zealand I saw these stamps I was like oh my god someone sent me mail from New Zealand um, Adeline sent me just some goodies of her artwork postcards and I really so appreciate it. Look how cool that looks and they're really nice and these uh, stickers as well. All of these which also really makes me want to do something similar as well because it's just like postcards are so cool and they're just like they're just like proper prints and it's just very exciting. Um, so thank you so much Adeline, I've really enjoyed getting this in the mail and I am um, going to be putting all your cool stickers, uh, well not all of them, I'm going to be putting some of them onto my sketchbooks and then some of them I will probably keep for happy mail to my pen pals. So that will be fun, look at this one, I really like this one. Oh and this painted little baggy envelope thing which really inspired me because I, I really love this and I was actually thinking what I want to do right now which was I saw Marsha, Marsha Valks, uh, she does these little micro, micro vlogs on her Instagram and um, they're really fun and inspiring you should definitely check them out um, and she was showing doing uh, jelly printing on envelopes and I thought that was a brilliant idea because whenever I want to send something to a pen pal I'm like oh now I need to paint the envelope and I, I think it would be really a great idea to actually have some pre-painted envelopes so that's what I me and my glass of wine are going to do right now I have dinner in the slow cooker but I still need to cook rice so um, I'm going to do art for I don't know half an hour and then I will go and do dinner -y stuff. out to Kaylee because Kaylee right now is going Iris you don't like your jelly plate and you're right I don't like this jelly plate I mean I don't like any jelly plates it's one of those things that I just I, I've never really been able to get into it like not the way that people who love the jelly plate and I'm like yeah I just don't really get it and it feels sacrilegious to say this because people love the jelly plate so much and I just you know I, I would love, I've tried doing those kind of sessions where you sit down and you pull print after print and I just like, I don't enjoy myself, but I am actually enjoying myself right now um, and I don't know why, like, what? <laughs> but yeah, this is, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've got, I've got a few minutes, I am just doing, and maybe it's also because it's got a purpose, because I don't use collage material or anything. Um, so I have actually successfully used my jelly plate by printing directly into my journal and also in um, I created a little course um, on how to how to make these little uh, recycled toilet paper mini journals and I actually did show on um, did show how to use a jelly plate to create that uh, painting directly onto the plate and printing into or onto a journal so it's not like you know 
it sounds contentious to say that I don't like a jelly plate because it's not I don't dislike it it's just that I don't get the hype I mean and that's fine right that's okay um, I feel like it's sometimes it's difficult to um, to feel okay about disliking it and disliking stuff without you can dislike something and be honest about what you dislike and about what you like without annihilating the thing that you dislike. I can dislike this without like annihilating the experience of people who like this. And I think that's the kind of world that I want to live in. So, you know, it's not really my thing, but like not enough to like get rid of them. I still have them. And I'm partly in the hope that at some point I'm going to understand the magic. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It's fine. So, you know, yay. And I'm using my stencils. how wild my hair is. <laughs> Cheers, do you like my glass? My friend stole it for me. It's water, by the way. I am not feeling great physically. I am injured, sounds a bit dramatic, but I hurt my neck the other day and yesterday I just couldn't even function um, and I had to take codeine. And then today I am feeling a bit better. Uh, but like the after effects of the codeine make me feel like really dazed and stuff. Um, I don't actually like taking it, I don't like the side effects, but I really, you know, sometimes there's just no other option. So today, what am I doing today? I have my breakfast here, which I'm going to have in a minute. I'm gonna watch a video and I think I'm gonna do art. I just don't, I don't feel up for anything that requires too much brain power so I think I'm just gonna see what happens uh, but first of all I wanted to show you um, Marianne sent me some happy mail thank you so much Marianne and uh, let me uh, show you um, there's loads of stickers it's really cool and washi tape and uh, stickers for the kids I really appreciate it especially these frogs and these fish. Zephyr is going to love these fish because he's really into fish. We might be getting him a fish for his birthday. Well, actually, I think we are. I just need to do some research because I know nothing about fish. And look, these. So thank you so much for sending this to me, Marianne. Uh, you left this really nice note which is saying, please share more about British life, choir, D&D, &D. love the fun updates. And I just like, that touched me a lot because sometimes I get this feeling like like on my YouTube channel because it's an art thing like I'm you know what I do online is art stuff but actually the art you know the art is really important but 
you know, my life is so much bigger than just art, and there's a lot of life lived that is about all the other things, either things that interest me or just things that are part of life and that have to be done. And um, knowing that you're interested in seeing all the other bits as well, it just makes me feel valued as like a whole person um, because I also, I really love sharing those little snippets as well. So I just thought that was really nice to hear. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And I also just, I just want to say like, I know I'm often showing happy mail, but please don't feel like you ever have to send me anything, especially because I cannot send anything back because I have four pen pals and I am averaging about one pen pal letter a month at the moment and you know they're being really nice and patient with me <laughs> um, but yeah might have bitten off slightly more than I can chew and um, I also got my second sticky thing which I'm not gonna open on camera because I think um, that's it's, I just want to do it not on camera. Oh, but yes, I, I want to open. I need to open it before I start watching uh, Roxanne Goebel's uh, sticky unboxing video because I don't want. I want to watch it. Uh, no, I want to. I want to watch it, but I don't want to have spoilers. So um, sorry. Like I said, I am not a hundred percent coherent, but I just wanted to check in. Oh, did I did I talk about the nails? The nails. We're on day five, so I did it on Saturday morning and it is now Wednesday morning and they are still looking good and um, no chipping, no lifting, no peeling, so I'm really happy with this. And also, one of the things that I like about these is that I actually enjoyed the process of putting them on because I don't actually enjoy the process of painting my nails, like I find it stressful, like, you know, when when I'm painting with my dominant hand it's alright but then with my non-dominant hand and it's just like it's terrible and I don't enjoy it and I don't want to do stuff that I don't enjoy because there's already too much of that in life um, but yeah um, this is so rambly and random okay I wasn't going to I wasn't going to share the sticky thing but I just remembered it's the science pack and I'm really excited about it and like the the name of the pack is for science exclamation mark and it makes me laugh because I have a friend who participated in a um, randomized trial for the COVID vaccine a few months ago and uh, every time she would talk about it we would all go like for science because she did it for science and you know I don't know it was you probably had to be there but I just think it's hilarious that this pack is called for science with the exclamation mark because that was exactly the thing that we say and like now it's kind of like something that I just want to just want to add to every sentence <laughs> welcome to my brain okay no I do want to show this because in am I in focus mm. In the last, the la when I got my first sticky pack, I was quite disappointed. Like, I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I just like, I expected to be like super excited and blown away and it was just kind of meh. And, but this pack, I really, really like. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited about it. So I just wanted to share my enthusiasm for a second um, because look, it's got these little anatomically correct brains, which says thoughts. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I really like it. And then these kind of, they're like uh, washi stickers, I think, with um, with like science labels, like astronomy and zoology and mollusca and stuff like that. So um, I'm very excited. It's just like, it's geeky and fun. Oh, and this one, this one. Um, these are round stickers of like uh, looking through a microscope they're like bacteria or whatever I don't know it's just really cool like my geek brain is so happy with this pack um, moons I quite like that too um, and then yeah so I just wanted to share my happiness with this pack because I felt like when I opened the previous pack uh, on camera I think my response was a bit lukewarm and it was an honest response I wouldn't want to like pretend that I was happy with something when I wasn't um, but it was totally a personal thing like it wasn't anything to do with like that it was bad it was just like it didn't really speak to me whereas this like yeah my little geek brain is very happy with this <laughs> Thank you. 
Mom life. Of course I find a pair of magic wands on my desk. talk about what I'm doing. I am prepping some stuff. I was prepping some canvases but even while prepping I realized I just really don't like canvas and I find it so hard to like admit that because it feels like like I'm not allowed to not like canvas because canvas should be the next step but I'm like every time I try to do something on canvas I just I just really <laughs> I just really don't like it. I just don't like the, what the paint does on it. I don't like the way it feels. So anyway, I am now prepping these um, wood boards. They are actually old paintings of mine. Very old. Um, it didn't have a date on it, but I think this is like 2008. And um, yeah, I decided not, not to paint over this side, but just to paint on the back. Um, and then we'll see what happens and if it turns into something I can decide what I want to do with the uh, With the original painting. I mean, I can't decide what to do with the original painting But like whether to cover over it or not, but I don't need These original paintings to keep existing because they are not They were not really my style. They're just you know, they're a nice memory and I have a picture of them. So um, That's fine but yeah, so I'm prepping these wood boards now and I'm like, oh yeah, this feels so much better. <laughs> I just need, I don't know, I don't like the slipperiness, I guess, of, um, uh, of canvas. Like I was painting over them um, with some colors and like you see stuff that's underneath and it just kind of like, the paint just kind of like slides and it's like one of those comedy videos where like you press something and then something else pops up or <laughs> I um, find this process kind of difficult in a way Um, it's kind of it's boring but that's not the reason um, because it's kind of mindful and it's nice it's more that it brings up this feeling of um, like I'm not supposed to be taking time for this um, like I don't have time to not be producing or to be doing something brilliant. And I mean, like, that's me, that's my inner voice. Like, there's nobody else who's putting this pressure on me. But oh, is, that's just kind of how it feels. Like, it's like paint admin time. And it just feels like I haven't got time for that. I don't know. I don't know if I need to do anything with that thought. Um, I mean, I am taking this time. I'm just feeling kind of not great about it. I guess I often feel like that, that I don't have enough time in life and therefore whatever I'm doing I always feel like that's not legitimate and I need to already be doing the next thing. It's a very kind of fraught and stressy kind of feeling and it isn't, you know, like I, it can't be overridden by, uh, you know, by rational thought. Like I have, I, I'm a very rational person, but the feeling doesn't change just by knowing that something is legitimate or something needs to be done or by giving myself permission to like take time. It just doesn't, um, it doesn't make the blindest bit of difference to how I feel. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. As always, more questions than answers. Welcome to my vlog. It's kind of funny because after saying that thing about the canvas and hating it, I started um, scratching paint off of this canvas and then just, or canvas board. And then this happened, and I am really pleased with it. And I was listening to this podcast, and I realized that sometimes I'm okay with being in the quiet and 
being like with my own thoughts but sometimes it just completely stifles me and then things become too difficult and I just can't do anything so I like to listen to podcasts and I was listening to Authentic Obsessions which is Margaret Petrie's podcast um, for which you know little plug I also got interviewed a few uh, months ago so you can find that but anyway I was um, listening to an episode in which she interviewed her husband who is a writer and he was saying that in a way he's got the hardest job in the world like being a full-time writer going to write every day is the hardest job in the world and I can really relate to that and he also said stop waiting for it to become easier I think that just really fueled me with a sense of feeling understood because I feel like what happens a lot and I think this happens in the vlog sphere and it happens online with um, you know on Instagram and whatever we t first of all we always see the output we always see the result we don't see the struggle I mean that's kind of um, that's quite logical in a way um, and I really appreciate it when people share kind of like a little bit more like the real behind the scenes the struggles the kind of the thinking the the feeling stuck um, Kaylee Gray did a vlog about creative block uh, and creating during creative block and I think that's just that's so important and then the other thing is that people are often going like you know, as if their process and their art making is all so joyful and so amazing and it makes them so happy. And I'm thinking like, no, it that's not what it's like for me. When I am doing this, you know, I, yeah, I like it and, and, and there's a sense of satisfaction, but it isn't joyful. It isn't me dancing for joy. That's not, that isn't what the process is like for me. And that isn't the feeling that is attached to my art. Like, how can I? How can I be painting stuff like this? Or like, how can I be expecting of myself that I'm painting stuff like this and feeling like, like happy, happy? It just doesn't match. And yet I still somehow am realizing that I somehow have this subconscious expectation of myself that at some point um, the painting process is gonna start, you know, I'm gonna find it like the holy grail and it's gonna become joyful and happy and that kind of thing and, or easy. And it's like, I don't think it ever is because because that's not what my work is and I, I think that's really interesting to realize and in a way it sets me free because it sets me free to just to find something in the work and not to fight to to feel like I'm doing it wrong somehow my neck actually hurts too much to do any more painting so I am going to go downstairs and make a toasty and watch special because that's what I have been watching on Netflix and I'm gonna close out this vlog I have again no idea how long this vlog is I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoy my content check out my patreon because that is where I do lots of exciting things yeah thank you to my patrons as as uh, I want to say as always but literally this has been the first month so thank you patrons uh, you're the best um, and I shall see you in the next one bye